Hi guys, it's me UV Programmer and in this video we are uh, covering the concepts for chat models and how they are different with LLMs. So in the lang chain we have two uh, language models. Uh, one of them or one of kind is the uh, LLM and the other is chat models. We will cover uh, the difference between them in this video. And this is the second video in our playlist. If you are working on any custom project, you can uh, let me know on the WhatsApp or mail uh, to discuss about it or you can fill out this form. Okay, let's get started with the uh, today's topic. And I'm in the quick start of this uh, LangChain documentation. And if we see the uh, heading for LLMs, so, here we get there are two types of models LLMs and the chat models LLM is really simple it takes a string it gives you back a string a text right but chat models is what you can use for uh, chatbots right uh, specifically specifying the role you are uh, signing to AI right so this can uh, take a list of messages as role specified with them so this is coming from system this is coming from uh, human and what should be coming from ai so these things can be specified in the chat models but uh, if you uh, want to do it manually you can always use the llms so that's up to you but we will cover uh, cover this uh, topic if uh, maybe it will be helpful in some of these scenarios okay so this is the uh, previous uh, tutorial and we have covered how we can use chat gpt in python right with the lang chain so i'm just gonna copy this here i will execute that open ai key is already covered and now what we will do is uh, print this also so now my LLM I will create it using chat models okay so let's see how we can create a chat model first so if there is chat open AI and uh, we are importing it from chat models yeah so I will just copy paste this line chat models yeah. yeah and now my LLM will be created from a chatbot or chat model if we uh, just execute it with the same line we will get uh, the answer exactly the same but the only difference is we get these to uh, new line character in the uh, uh, open ai llm right but in the chat open ai we get a uh, clear message in the content right with the uh, predict command okay so now what we can do is uh, specify the role between these uh, messages so let's see how we can use that and in the uh, chat models, we have two uh, methods to predict the text. One is the chat model dot, uh, let me see, yeah, predict messages, and the other is uh, predict uh, simple. We have used predict only for now, and now we will use predict messages. Uh, I will just copy this block of code. To specify the human message let's see how they are trying to make sense here so messages okay. so this is uh, the type of output we are getting uh, when we specify our role so human message content is this and there are other uh, feature of example also we will cover that in some video uh, so that we can specify example uh, 
to the better understanding of AI, but for now, human message and the content is, right? Now what we can do is uh, create a scenario where we will uh, let me write it down I will specify my AI that it's as a good historian and then we'll ask something about history from my AI right and the output will be uh, AI message so let's specify first of all uh, to the AI that you are a good historian uh, so in the roles what we can see here we have a couple of roles human message AI message then system message this is what we are interested in so let's copy that and I will say a system message is by the way this uh, whole thing is uh, I think it will be used to uh, specify the uh, usage or specify the scenario to the AI right so this will be helpful in some use cases, particular use cases. And I will say you are a good historian. Okay. So this is the system message I am passing to my AI. And I will copy this here content is system message let's print that yeah so we are good uh, content is you are good historian now let's create a human message where we can ask our AI some question about history so I will say who was Napoleon yeah and now I can uh, pass this human message as a human message and content is equal to human message now finally let's print it out system message is saying to the AI that you are a good historian and human message is asking something to that AI right to our model now let's uh, execute this with the R AI how we can do that LLM dot predict message messages yeah and in the messages I can pass out my messages I think it should work but let's see okay taking some time but you can see it is giving me a content and where this is uh, this content is coming from is the AI message uh, I have to store it into a variable let's do that output from AI because this is exactly that Okay. 
Yeah, so this is the AI message and the content is our answer from the AI. So that's how you can specify your roles as the system or human or there are other roles also you can check out the uh, documentation but this is it for the chat models and the next topic we will cover is prompt templating where we can use variables in our prompt thanks for watching i'll meet you in the next video